Hi friends, welcome to Durga Soft. My name is Ratan. Guys, we are discussing Java interview questions. Question number how much here? Fifty. It's important, guys. What are the different ways to initialize the data in the Java? Explain. What are different ways to initialize the data in the Java? Because you know, in Spring application, Spring Boot, uh, Web Services, Hibernate, these all the concepts. We have the concept of setter injection and constructor injection. Setter injection one, constructor injection. The terminal is what setter injection. Injecting the values, assign the values using setters, and constructor injection, injecting the values using constructor. So, in Java, it's very very important. There are two ways to initialize the data. What are the different ways to initialize data? Means there are two ways to initialize the data. One is using constructor. Yes, one is using what constructor. One is using setter approach. Yes, one is what using setter approach. Sir, maybe you know this code, right? You don't know I means just you can check it. Employee is there. During object creation, we will pass the data to the constructor arguments, right? Yes. During object creation, we will pass the data to the constructor arguments. And the constructor arguments are what type of variables? Local variables. Constructor arguments are local variable. That's why we are converting that local argument to instance values. That is a different story. But uh, during object creation to initialize the data, okay? During object creation to initialize the data, we are using what constructor, right? Exactly. So you got the point or not? During object creation to initialize data, you can use the constructor, guys. Hmm. Good. And setter injections means what? You can call the setter methods, right? We can call the specific setter method to set the data. So we understood that there are two ways to initialize the data. How many ways, guys? There are two ways to initialize data. One is you know constructor injection. Second one is what? Setter setter methods in it to initialize data, right? Sir, so, okay, sir. During object creation, we initialize the data using constructor. And even you can call the setter methods also to set the data. Both are there. What is the difference here? Yes, the difference between these two approaches is like you know, constructor injection is mandatory injection. It means constructor expecting the five arguments means what? Mandatory. We need to pass the five arguments. Then only your object will be created. Yes, constructor injection is what? Mandatory injection because when we assign the constructor with the five values, mandatory we need to submit the five values. Then only object is created, right? That we know. Setter injection is optional dependencies, guys. Setter injection, we will create the object using default constructor, employee equal new employee, normal default constructor. And how many values with you? Just you can call those setter methods first. Assume like we have the three values with you, then you can call the three setter methods. But remaining two values are stored as default values, right? Remaining two values will be stored as a default values. Later, if you want, you can set those two values, right? Sir, no, yeah. yeah, that is called setter injection. It means how many values you have. Just to create the employee object, set those values as of now. Later, if you want to update the remaining data, right? Yes, later we need to update what remaining data. You got the point, right? Yeah, there are two approaches. One using constructor approach, using setter approach. Constructor is nothing but mandatory injection. It means if the uh, constructor expecting the five arguments means then only we while calling when we, when you create the object mandatory we need to pass the five values. Let's call mandatory five values you have to pass right. Because when you join the company, some people are asking mandatory document three arguments mandatory we need to submit all the documents. Then only they'll create your object. Then only they'll assign your employee ID. In some companies, as of now you don't have the passport number, no problem. Okay, they can call. They can create your object. They can call the specific setter methods, specific setter methods, and passport number, and form 16 something like that. They'll say they'll give when you when you submitted those proof, they'll update those details, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So we got the point that constructor injection means mandatory dependencies. The setter injection means what? Optional. Setter constructor injection means what? If I construct expect in the five arguments. Mandatory, we need to pass how many arguments? So five arguments. Yes, mandatory, we need to pass what? Five arguments. Constructor means uh, mandatory, we need to pass five arguments. Amma. In future, in the constructor injection, guys, if you want to change the specific value, it is not possible. Change the specific value is possible, not possible, guys? Not possible because constructor, we assign five values during object creation, right? In future, I want to change the employee salary. Then how can we do it? We can't, right? Maybe in the classes. Some people are doing with the variable name, but in the real time, the variables are private properties. The private properties you can't access outside of the class. But uh, using setter approach, in future, if you need any modifications, any updations on the specific data, salary, I want increment. 
If you want to increment the salary, you can go for the specific setter method, right? Yes, we can go with what? Specific uh, setter method. So, we understood the point is in Java, there are two ways to initialize the data. One is a constructor approach, one is a setter approach. Constructor approach is a mandatory injection because the constructor is taking the five arguments means while creation of object, we need to pass the five arguments, then only object is created. In future, if you want to update the data with specific, specific value, we can't. Got the point right? Setter means what? Setter, setter injection, optional dependencies, optional values. Because employee object is created, actually five values I have, actually five values, five values I need to set. But as of now, I have only three values. As of now, when we have the three values, we can call the only three setter methods. Yes, we can call only three setter methods. Remaining two values are two against default values. In future, if you want to update, you can call the specific setter methods, right? Hmm. That is uh, using constructor injection, using what? Setter approach, right? These are the two different ways, right? These are two different ways to initialize the data in Java. It's very, very, very important point, guys. Clear, right? Yes. That's all, guys. That's question number 50. You can write the notes. Try to inject some content in your mind so that you automatically get the confidence. In the confidence, you'll get the more, more like, you know, more satisfaction. Because without having the knowledge how we attend the intervals, there is no use, right? First, focus on what? Knowledge, then you can do it. You got the point, right? Yes. Guys, check that 50th question. Meet in next video. We'll go for next question. Thank you.